But basically, what you're going to want to do is you're going to want to fucking... You, you got to be versatile as a big man. You can't just be one of those big mans that walks around like this. That shit is lame. By the way, I'm not an inside center. I have like zero on my inside. So first, I'm going to let you guys see my build real quick. I left inside score completely blank. This is totally a preference. It's not fact. You should never really do this unless you feel like you should. Basically, my playmaker keeps it to where I barely ever get stripped. The only people that really strip me a whole lot is like people under six feet tall. Here's my badges. I still need a couple badges with this guy, but for the most part, I've got all the good ones you can get. I know I need... I need a couple, okay? I need a couple good badges. But basically, like, say, like, you're trying to go down the to dunk. You don't want to just run down. It's going to be way too obvious. So say you got a guy, like, right here and a guy right here. All you got to do, really, hit him with them crossovers. You don't want to run in, like... Dang, guys. Gotta dunk, guys. Oh, shit. Now, you don't want to run in like that. You want to be a power fucking house, boy. I'm telling you. You want to yam on them, okay? Let me show you guys the best signature styles, in my opinion. Dirk Nowitzki. You're going to want to put that dude. That. Or you can actually use Curry. Curry's a really good one, but... I find Dirk to be a little bit better with centers. Your hop jumper to Steph Curry. If you're a center, you want to have your dribble posture on low. Because it just helps a whole lot with you getting stripped. You have it up high or on default. It's going to be a lot easier for you to get stripped. Crossover 11, the best crossover. That's what I was just doing the speed boost with. Behind the back, 14. Hands down, the best behind the back. It gives you a boost. Spin, you can do spin 7, but I like, I actually like spin 14 better. Hesitation 3, of course. This doesn't matter. Inside out, I put guard 1. But it's actually, for your center, a really good inside out is curry. It creates the most space with the center. Guard 1 for the size up cross. I just put Kobe Bryant on the size up escape. It honestly doesn't really matter, though. NBA animations, I use LaMarcus Aldridge, the best jumper in the game for an outside center. I use quick. You really want to have your center to release quick because you want to get those really quick spot up mid ranges before your guy can come back and catch you. Basically, these are all the dunks I have on right now. They're the best, more than likely the best in the game. You want to stay away from hand, like athletic one-handers off two. You want to stay away from one-handed dunks to be honest. But if you have to do a one-handed dunk, like, these are the only ones you want to be off to. The basic dunks. Any other dunk, you really don't want to be, like, you don't want to pick some crazy-ass dunk off two because you go jump off at of two feet, it takes a lot longer. If you notice, off one is a really quick dunk. And then off two is, like, really slow. Like, see how much slower that is? That one's not slow that much, but that's because it's a basic one-hander. It's basic, so it's, like, going to be fast even if it's a little bit slower. Layups, they obviously don't give you anything. I heard Griffin was a good one, though. I just use big. Honestly, it's good enough. But anyway, so basically what you're going to want to do is you're going to want to create as much space as possible with your center. So, like, say there's a guy in front of you. You can hit the Steph Curry and then wide open shot, like, every single time. It's not going to be, like, it's really good. It actually works really well in the park. Even if you want to be, like, right here, and, like, say, like, you want to do a three or something, it's money. Like, that shit works every time. Your defender's not going to expect you to shoot a three because you're a center, so it buys you just enough time to get away. You really just want to fuck with your people because, like, if you play, like, a bulky-ass center that sucks ass, no one's going to take you serious. They're just going to, like, know your every move. So, basically, you just got to switch up your style. Let that bitch drop, you know what I'm saying? I really like confusing my defenders. Like, this move works really well, hitting a little snatch back. What you want to do is get bank is open, run up here from an angle, shoot, and then it'll give you a bank shot. Basically, like, you hold up on the control stick, the right control stick. It's just going to shoot a bank shot. It'll be mostly green because you get a 5% boost for it. It's like corner threes. You want to get corner specialist, obviously. Everyone should know that. 
if you're an insider a balance center you really don't want to put your dunks on like park dunks because if you do it's just gonna fuck you over in the long run you're gonna miss a lot of dunks you're gonna get blocked easily you want to change your style up you can't just do the same thing every time if you do the same thing every time people's gonna start picking up so what i like to do is i'll either dunk or i'll shoot mid ranges i like to mix it up like i'll act like i'm driving sometimes then i'll just do the whole step back boom or kobe Bryant escape obviously that's all great like you're really unstoppable for us if you just know how to use your center the hardest part about being a center to me is playing defense i hate playing defense with my center like i feel like they're it's really slow and it's hard for them to catch people so like if i play a small forward or like I don't know, like, someone that's a really tall but, like, a little bit shorter than me or, like, an inside person. But I found out a couple tips on how to block more shots. All you want to do is, like, stand in the paint. And then whenever someone comes up to dunk, you're just going to want to jump. You're not going to want to hold LT. Don't hold LT in the paint. If you hold LT in the paint, it's going to make you do a stupid animation. And you're going to walk weird like that. 